So, EA dropped the brand new Winter Wildcards Team 2. We've got 100 player picks and a bunch of promo packs to open. Let's see what we get. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. So, this is Winter Wildcard Team 2. We've got some really cool players in there, actually. We've got Raheem Sterling. Eden Hazard, Lucas Moura cam card, Martial with a five-star weak foot, uh, Morales, Kieran Tierney, Gwenduzi, Soyuncu, Alessandrini, Florenzi, and Collins. So, yeah, honestly, a really good set of players, to be fair. A really cool set of players. I'm excited to open these up and see if we can get some of these cool new winter wildcards. All right, without further ado, let's start opening. We have 175 plus player picks to open. Uh, so we'll open these first, and then I think we'll open up some of the pro packs as well. I think there might, I don't think there's new pro packs, but I think this buy one, get one free pro packs is pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to open those. We're actually in the third player pick. That is a really good start. I do have a pretty full club, to be fair. So I'm not going to take all the, the, the uh, already owned items because it's just going to fill up, and then I probably won't end up claiming them back. As what that that is probably my worst trait on FIFA uh, is that I'm so lazy sometimes that I take the uh, already owned items and then I don't go and claim them back when I'm doing an SPC. I just want to get it done really quickly. But hey, you guys love it when I upload the video really quickly, so I don't blame myself. To be fair, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, anyway, um, let's see if we can get a brand new Winter Wild card in one of these player picks, preferably Anthony Martial. That'd be pretty cool. If not, I will have to just go and buy him because I am trying to collect all the Man United special cards this year. It is kind of getting difficult at times. Um, I don't think there is anyone that I've missed out. Is there? I mean, I technically played a month of Ronaldo and team of the group stage Ronaldo, but I have wants to watch Ronaldo. So I'm kind of like, in my opinion, having wants to watch Ronaldo kind of makes up for, for missing both of those. Um... Let me know in the comments down below whether you agree with that or not. And thank you all, by the way, for the insane support over the Christmas period. Like, the last few videos have been absolutely insane. The, the recent amount of subs we've been gaining is ridiculous. The likes on the latest videos as well has been insane. So I just want to say thank you all very much. And hopefully you guys have a really, really good Christmas. I know Christmas is a difficult period for some people, especially now and, and what we've been going through over the last couple of years. Christmas is a difficult period for a lot of people. Um, so if you guys are struggling, going through some hard times this Christmas, uh, feel free to reach out uh, if you want to chat. Uh, Twitter and Instagram. I do kind of suck with replying, I can't lie, but I am a good listener. And I do read messages and I do, you know, if someone sends me a heartfelt message, I will reply. Um, so I just wanted to, to offer and extend that olive branch because I know there's a lot of people out there that will struggle this Christmas. Um, myself included, really. I'll be quite alone on Christmas. I, I'll get to see my dad on Christmas Day, but I won't see my mum at all this Christmas and I'll only see him uh, on Christmas Day. Um, it's quite unfortunate, really, but... Uh, just with how circumstances is, with how how things are, um, yeah, it's difficult not to see it's difficult to see all, all family members this Christmas. Um, yeah, it's tough. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, let's uh, open these player picks. Just wanted to basically say, hopefully you guys have a good Christmas. To be honest, I kind of started waffling a little bit, but hopefully you guys do have a good Christmas. Anyway, let's uh, finish off opening these packs. I just want that Martial untradeable, to be fair. That's pretty much all I want, is Anthony Martial untradeable in the club. That is all I am looking for, EA Sports FIFA. Give me green winter wild card Anthony Martial. His card looks insane, to be fair, as well. He's now a uh, five-star weak foot as well, uh, which is very interesting. I think he's now left-footed, too, which is quite exciting. Uh, I don't know why they made him left-footed. I don't know if there's any relevance there as to why he's left-footed, but apparently they made him left-footed now as well with a five-star weak foot. So that's really cool. Um, I just think that would be a very, very good card in game. Eden Hazard is one for the nostalgia. Um... I remember getting a 98 Eden Hazard when he played at Chelsea back in FIFA 17, I think. A team of the season card. Um, so, oh, that's near Carte. He was just a green card. Uh, I remember getting a 98 Tots Eden Hazard back in like FIFA 17 on tradable in one of those uh, Premier League Premier Gold players packs. So that one I wouldn't mind getting for the nostalgia. Raheem Sterling looks decent, but I feel like Raheem Sterling gets a right wing card like every FIFA nowadays. It's really weird. Uh, Soyuncu looks decent. I think he's one of the lower tier cards as well. Soyuncu looks decent. Florenzi looks very average. As a midfielder, would be great. But as a right back, looks pretty average. Hello. Ingolo, Ingolo. Conte. Me call my sapo. Conte. Sorry. Um, hey, we'll take that. Ingolo Kante, untradeable. That is a big, big, big pack pull right there. Thank you very much, Yay. That is a very big pack pull. Me call my sapo. Sorry. I just... Some players make me want to sing. Paul Pog was another one that makes me want to sing. Um, wow, that is very, very exciting. That is very exciting. Okay, that's a sick pack, man. That's a really... Oh, I'd say pack, player pick. That's a really good player pick pack, uh, pack pool, though. 
Uh, 90 rated in Golo Kanto. They don't already have him untradable on this account as well. I've got him untradable on my RTG account, so now I've got him untradable on both accounts, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, but let's open up the last five for the first 50. I'd say the first 50 were a success. We have a, a few walkouts and then Golo Kante. I would say it's relatively successful. I wouldn't say it's been the best set of player picks we've ever had, but I'd say they've been relatively successful given the fact that you know, we've, we we got that in Golo Kante. Uh, and Jude Bellingham in the last one. There you go. All right. So, um, I think we did all right. Yeah, I'm quite happy with how we did there, to be fair. I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, let's send all these to the transfer list real quick. Um, and discard the untradeable ones. And go and start on the second set of 50. All right. Second set of 50 now. We're looking for a winter wild card, EA. All right. We've had in Golo Kante. That's class. We're looking for a winter wild card. Please. Give us one, even if it's, I mean, I was going to say even if it's Collins because he's the lowest rated one, but that card looks phenomenal. 89 pace and 87 uh, physical with 84 defending. I mean, the only thing, ooh, Marcos Urente, very nice. I feel like EA know what they're doing. I mean, obviously, they're, they're giving us, like, centre-backs with insane pace but super low defensive stats. Um, and I, think, I feel like they're doing that just to try and balance it a little bit, which I, I actually respect because, I mean, last year I remember the centre-back Kyle Walker was probably the the one of the most used centre back position change that was actually a centre back centre back in the game. That didn't make sense. Basically, obviously, a lot of people use right backs and left backs centre back, and he was a right back that was made into a centre back. So he was probably one of the most used actual centre backs in the game because um, he was just insane. He had high like I don't think he actually did have high defender, did he? But he had high pace and, and like high tackling stuff like that. So he was really really good. Um, so yeah, I feel like EA trying to replicate that a little bit, but trying to make it so they're not just insanely OP. Um, which I respect. It's also, I feel like, EA trying to give us options that don't lead to us getting right backs and left backs, center back again. Uh, Gwen Doozy. Hello. We have a winter wild card. It is Gwen Doozy. I can't believe this guy's younger than me. Like, that's mental. Um, what a card, though. That card looks sick. That's a really good card. The French Hullet. The only stat on the entire card that is not above 70 is his volleys. That is a really nice card. We'll take that. We'll take that. The French Hullet, Gwen Doozy. Thank you very much, EA. Very nice. So we do get a winter wild card in one of these player picks, which I'm excited about. I'm happy we actually got one. Oh, cheeky little Kalor Navas. Nice. Okay. Wow. I mean, these player picks have actually been really good, to be fair. We've had, uh, obviously, um, Kante in the first set. And then we've got Gwen Doozy and uh, cheeky little Kalor Navas. So actually, if you think about it, we've had two really good French CDMs and then two PSG players. Interesting. Okay. That is very interesting. Now, maybe an Mbappe? Untradeable? That'd be pretty nice. Sell my tradable Mbappe. We'll take Nicholson. There's an inform. Come on, EA. Let's get another winter wildcard. I'm feeling greedy. I'm feeling like for Christmas, I want a Martial untradable. That's what I want for Christmas, EA. Give me that for Christmas, please. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you guys have asked for Christmas. Hello, Jiggy Little Girl and Amazon Times 2. Another Jiggy Little Kalor Navas. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys have asked for Christmas. I'm just intrigued. Nanny right after Kalo Navas. If you know, you know. Those that don't know, always comment. Why do you call him Cheeky Little Kalo Navas? If you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. If you know, you know. And then the the last of the halfway point, I think, or we might already be there, is Bernardo Silva. Nice. All right. So I think we're doing pretty well in this set, 50. This might be better than the first set, and we actually got Kante in the first set. So... Yeah, it's, we're going to take a few more here because, I mean, we've, we've had, like, Marco Torrente and a couple of walkouts here and there, plus two Kalo Navases and the Gwenduzi. Yeah, we might actually be doing better here than the first set of 50, potentially. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how the rest of it pays out. If we get one more winter wildcard, it's, it, it's, it's, it's lights out. There's Rodri, though. There's another walkout. If we get, like, another walkout, it's, it's definitely better. That, that's all I'm going to say. If we get, like, one more walkout, it's over. It's definitely better. Come on, yeah. Let's get one more. Let's get one more winter wildcard, man, please. Show us Anthony Martial. That's all I want. All I want is Anthony Martial pack pulled. I will open a few promo packs after this as well, just to see if we can get one of the promo packs too. Um, I just really want Anthony Martial. <laughs> I just really want him untradeable. I do have a uh, away shirt with him on the back. It's kind of sad, really, because I, I thought Anthony Martial shaving his head this year was him set, like being like, right, that's it. You're going to see Anthony Martial when he first joined. Like We're going to see... We're going to go straight back to when, when he was really, really good when he first joined United. And it just doesn't feel like he he cares, man. And I think he just wants to leave and go to another club. And it's super sad, really. Um, but I still think he's a really good player. And I, and I hope he does really well no matter which club he goes to. Um, also, let me know in the comments down below who you think Anthony Martial goes to. I've asked you guys to comment loads of things. 
Um, but like, pick and choose. You don't have to comment everything. But if you, you know, if you want to get involved in the Anthony Martial conversation, let me know where you think he's going. Ooh, inform Rafa. Okay, this has definitely been a better set than the first 50. And the first 50 was good. Uh, all right, we've got about three, four player picks left. Will there be a winter wild card in the last four? Go on, EA. Give us a winter wild card in one of the last player picks, please. Cliver, not bad, not bad. Two more. Come on. Green? No. And then the last player pick of the 100 player picks for winter wild card is going to be. Alex Tellez, the best left back in world football. Let's go. Okay. I think we did really well there, to be fair. They're all untradeable duplicates. Uh, I'll have to recover that Kalon Navas. I think we did really well, to be honest. All right. So there's lightning rounds for 50k packs in the store. I don't know if we'll be able to get all 12,000 few points opened here because uh, these are only 2,500 left. We've kind of left it a little bit late. Um, will we get uh, a bunch of these open? That's the question. I do have a full, uh, sorry, an empty transfer list. So I could basically send everything to the transfer list now, which is good. Go on, EA. Can we get all these opened? I'm going to try and rush through. If it's not a winter wildcard or a walkout, I'm just skipping it no matter what it is. Unless it's an icon. If it's an icon, to be fair, I'll watch it out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, all right. How many is left? How, how quickly are these going? Oh, yeah. Well, there's no chance. There's no chance. We have zero chance of getting all these opened, unfortunately. Walkout. I skipped it. For the culture, it's going to be Matt's Hummels. Nice. Very nice. Let's go, dude. That is a big walkout right there. 420 left. This will be the last one. Can we get a winter wildcard in the last 50k pack? No, we do get an inform walkout, though. It's going to be Brazil, left mid, Gabriel Martinelli. Hey, name a, name a more iconic duo than Arsenal. Wow, look at that for a pack. Arsenal and getting featured team of the week. These guys seem to get every single team of the week being a featured team of the week. It's not fair. Um, what else do we have? We have 81 to 89 rate rare players packs. I'm not really interested in that. We do have premium gold pack plus. We get premium gold pack and then a gold pack after. I mean, no one really wants a gold pack, do they? I guess we'll open one of these real quick and see what they're like. I'm pretty sure that, like, EA advertised it as buy one, get one free. And then, like, one gold pack? It's not exactly buy one, get one free, EA. You're, you're basically saying here, have something worth one-fifth of the value. Gold packs are trash. We don't want gold packs. We want buy one, get one free. Don't even get a rare player. Typical EA to kind of mess it up. Well, I think we'll just leave it there then because there's no real good packs in the store to open unless we... Should we open the Prime Golds? We'll open a few Prime Golds. Why not? We'll open a few Prime Golds before we end off the video. You never know. Prime Golds can be hit or miss, and sometimes they hit. So we could open up a few of these to end off the video, see if we get something good. Um, I, I have time. I, I assume you guys have time as well. Um, so, yeah, let's open these up, and then uh, and then we'll end off the video. Can we get a, a Martial, EA? A Winter Wildcard Martial? Or even just looking at the team, like pretty much anyone, really. Anyone bar Gwen Doozy that we've already got, and I'm happy. I am happy chappy, to be fair. I mean, Guendouzi still looks pretty decent, though. I'm quite happy with that, untradeable. That'll be a card that I definitely get some use out of. And I think with icon swaps coming in a few weeks, like the Legion variant of icon swaps, that'll be very exciting because I'll have a really good card there. I also have some nice cards from Legion, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to be honest. I'm looking forward to it. Ouch. Hey, we have a walkout. Scottish left-back. It's not the Scottish left-back we're looking for, EA. I'll be honest with you. We're looking for a certain different Scottish left back, and his name is Kieran Tierney. But I'll let you off because it's a walkout. Back to back walkouts. Go on. English. Striker. It's Jamie Vardy for like the third time this video. I guess we'll take it though. Can't complain with a walkout. We'll take a, 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 you know, a Jamie Vardy for the third time this video. Very nice. Store that in the club. Let's go. Okay. All right. Yeah, these seem to be paying out right now. I keep, I keep opening the one and then like cutting off. And, okay, never mind. We can actually cut off and go look at something else. Walkout 88 plus. Belgian. Striker, uh, excuse me, <coughs> striker Romelu Lukaku. There you go, in a United kit. Feels weird. weird very weird. All right, well, we'll store him on the transfer list. There you go. There's an 88 plus walkout. These aren't doing too badly. Like I said, these are fairly hit and miss. Most of them are pretty bad, but the odd pack's giving us a walkout, you know, so we can't complain. No winter wildcarders have yet, though. And the last pack of the video to end off this pack opening slash player pick pack opening. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys have a great Christmas. I'll be uploading before then anyway, but I just want to say that just in case some of you guys don't see another upload from me before Christmas. Much love. Have a great time, and I'll catch you guys later.